What's poppin' guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 16 tutorial. In this video, we're gonna see how to make this amazing GTA 5 map transition. So as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 16, but we need some footage in order to make that transition. So what we need for this is a screenshot from Google Earth. So just open up a new tab in your browser, and then you can just go to Google Earth, create that screenshot, and then once you've done that, you just want to save that to your computer, and we're gonna drag that into Vegas Pro. All right, so this this is basically the screenshot of beautiful Manhattan and what we're gonna do is we're going to first of all click on the event pan crop icon and then we're gonna zoom in all the way well not too much otherwise if you're gonna do it like that we're gonna lose a lot of quality so just go ahead and for example do it like this that looks really really nice so then what we need to do is we need to make that zoom out switch to another place and zoom back in. But we're gonna also add in some clouds, you know, for details. So first we're gonna start off with the motion. Right now we have this. So what we need to do now is click on this timeline right here. And then you want to just, for example, make it a little bit bigger, not too big. So now let's see what it looks like. But it's a little bit too fast. So we're gonna move this keyframe further from the from the beginning. So it's gonna be slower like that, as you can see. But we want to have a smooth zoom out. So we're gonna right click on this keyframe and we're gonna hit smooth. So let's see what it looks like. Boom. So now what we need to do is we need to actually wait, for example, almost a second in order to make that transition to a different place of the map. So what we're going to do is we're going to click right here and then we're going to create a keyframe. So it's going to create a keyframe on this exact same position. And then right here, we can actually move it to a different place, for example, like that. So let's see what it looks like. And now we need to add in the zoom in, but we also need to make sure that all the keyframes in this entire timeline are smooth. Now we need to actually create a zoom in, for example, right here. And now we're gonna zoom in all the way. So let's see what it looks like. That looks really, really nice, but we need to actually make the pause a little bit longer. So what we need to do is just move these keyframes a little further. So it's gonna stay in the air quite a bit longer. So we have time right here to zoom in and actually add in the clouds. So we're gonna also do it like that. All right, let's see what it looks like. Boom, as you can see, that is how amazing it looks, guys. It is pausing in the air right there, and then it's going to zoom in, and it's gonna go back into the other place. But now what we need to do is we need to animate and add in these clouds. So you can just go to Google, type in clouds, PNG, and you wanna download a couple. So I'm gonna drag in that one. This is basically what it looks like, but we need to make it a little bit more realistic. So we're gonna click on the track motion icon of the cloud. You wanna also make sure that the clouds are on top of the actual track where the clip is of the city. So now we're gonna click on track motion, and now what we need to do is we can use this box to move the clouds around. So I'm going to place them right here and I'm going to also turn them just a little bit. So now that we did that is we're going to also add in the second clouds. You want to make sure that you just add in different clouds. So now we're going to also do the, for that second cloud, we're going to also click on track motion. I'm going to turn it just a little bit and we're going to, for example, place them right here. And now obviously you can just lower the opacity if you really want to. I'm going to lower it to, for example, like 78. I think that looks really, really nice. Okay. Okay, so let's see what happens right now. We're gonna make sure that we will make the clouds appear when it's stopped zooming. So it's gonna be a thing right here. Then we're gonna also make the clouds fade in like that. So now we're gonna also make the clouds stop appearing when it is actually zooming into the new place. There we go. It's gonna start zooming cut it and then we're going to also add in a fade out just like that make sure that both fades are equal as long so now let's see what we have That looks really, really cool. But what we need to do is we need to, we can also make the clouds zoom in from the screen like they're coming out of the, it's really difficult to explain, but I'm just gonna show you how that works. So we're gonna start off by zooming all the way in. And then we're gonna just click, for example, right here, and we're gonna hit restore. Let's see what happens to the right cloud. So we're gonna also do that for the second cloud. Zoom in all the way in, then create a keyframe around right here. Click restore and now they're just zooming in, for example. 
So that looks really, really cool, but it is actually shot in the air and the clouds are not even like moving a little bit. So we're gonna make sure that the clouds are just going around, for example, like that. In order to do that is we're gonna click on the event pan crop icon. And as usual, we're gonna click right here on this timeline and we're gonna just move the clouds just a little bit. So then we're gonna click on the uh, timeline, create a keyframe a little further, position it a different place. And you just wanna keep doing that. You wanna just recreate this, like this floating animation. That's what we're gonna do. I'm just going to keep placing the keyframes uh, like that. Boom, as you can see. And now we can also do that for the other cloud. This is what it looks like, but it's moving a little bit too fast, as you can see. All right, let's see if you spread them a little more, what that looks like. There we go. All right, as you can see, the cloud is just moving just a little bit, tiny bit. That's what we can also do for the second cloud. Do it like this, create a keyframe a little further, another one right there, and a last one right here. All right, let's see what it looks like. Boom, as you can see, the clouds are just moving. That's really, really nice. And the clouds are disappearing when it zooms in again. So that's a really, really cool technique, guys. How you actually go ahead and create this awesome transition from another town to another city. That's basically how it works, guys. So let's say that you want to go out and make a travel video. You can use this. You can actually create a screenshot from the location where you're at. Don't do it at your house because people will actually find out where you live. For example, in Manhattan or in West New York, you can just create a screenshot in there. And let's say like, guys, today we're gonna go out out and go have a shopping day we're gonna start off in for example like West New York you can actually create a transition from that place to that place that's a really really cool transition guys I hope this video was helpful to you make sure to smash the like button down below subscribe if you're new and I would say I'll see you guys in my next video